Hello there and welcome to my first video log. Uh, this log will be following me as I put together a small force of Tomb Kings. As you can see I've made a start. Uh, this is a unit of 20 warriors with hand weapons. They're not completely finished yet. Um, still got some highlighting to do. Um, lots of finishing touches. Uh, but they've got bases. Um, they've all got uh, base colours on. Um, and sort of 80-90% done. Um, as you can see, I'm not using the classic Games Workshop colours of Hawk Turquoise. I've gone for blue and purple, which I always quite enjoy painting. Uh, the movement tray is a Games Workshop modular movement tray, cut to size. And then I've used some static grass from Javis, um, which is a sort of parched grass. Um, each model has been fitted with a small magnet. Um, just demonstrate that. So each one has a small magnet glued up into the base. And then I have a, a magnetic um, strip which is, goes down into the movement tray. It means the models snap back on, stay secure, should make things a lot more easy uh, when it comes to gaming. Now as you can see, uh, the back row is all gravestones. Uh, these are from uh, the actual sprues of the, the Tomb Warriors. Now if I'd been thinking about this clearly, I would have had a row of um, gravestones and then a row of skeletons emerging from the graves and then into the full unit. Um, but I just wanted to get on with it, so I modelled everything, put it together, and then at the end I had five slots left, didn't have any more skeleton models, so I thought I'd make up some gravestones. Um, and I kind of like the way they look, so I'm pleased with those. Um, painting these models so far has been quite enjoyable. Um, a very big change after uh, humans and dwarfs, which is what I painted before. Um, there's a lot of dry brushing, um, and that's okay. Um, Painting the bones isn't a problem itself. I have had some problems uh, with the shields. Um, the blue of the shields I'm not very happy with at the moment. Um, just seems too dull. I'm not quite sure how to make them um, pop, as people say. I think it might be highlighting along the edge of the shields, but uh, I've never tried that, so I'll have to get on with that. Um, but in general, I'm kind of happy with the way these are going. Um, I'm pleased with them so far. So this is what I want to do um, during the next sort of 30 days as part of my project. Um, I have one, two, three chariots that I'd like to paint up, plus um, six crew. There's two of the crew there, getting ready to whip something or spear something. I've also got a Tomb King, so a character model. And then I have 12 skeleton arches. So the next week or so, I just want to do the finishing touches to this unit um, and get them varnished and get them finished. And then I'll start on my project next Monday, which is to do this lot. So three chariots, one character model and, and 12 arches. Now for some of you that wouldn't be much of a project, but I paint really slowly. Um, so just for me to finish those in 30 days is quite a challenge. So um, that's what I'm going to try and do and I'll try and do a video log every once in a while. Um, with my progress. I'm not a great painter, I do enjoy the hobby, um, but it's not so much tutorials, just to sort of um, post my progress and, and try and get some sort of inspiration from that. So that's the end of my first log. Uh, thank you very much to uh, everyone who's doing videos for Warhammer um, uh, and posting them on YouTube. I found them really useful, particularly Warboss Tay and Girl Painting. Uh, they're very good. Um, okay, thanks a lot. Um, speak to you soon. Bye.